My cat's Lebanese, by the way. I'm like, yeah, man, snappy Tom. We had a test like crap, give me some fasolia or some jadra. I'm like, but the cats of Australia have made the choice. Stop fueling the cats of Australia. You know, my cat's got attitude. Sometimes he goes with his other cat mates, the Cronulla, and starts with the Aussie cats. <laughs> Cronulla riots are a waste of time. The text messages were like chain letters. I got a text message during the Cronulla riots that said, come down to Cronulla and bash all the Aussies. Send this message to 10 of your friends that will have bad luck with love for five years. <laughs> Stupid. Sure. How are you, man? What's going on? What's your name? You got a name? Hello. <laughs> no, but George Russell. <laughs> All right, I'll continue. Anyways, when I went to watch Rambo, I went to the the place where you go to get food, the candy bar, or as I like to call it, the heart attack bar. Have you seen the size of the food they serve? I went up to get a Coke. I said, can I please get a Coke? She goes, they go in two sizes, diabetes or heart failure. I'll take the diabetes, thanks. But uh, who here understands Arabic? Come on, just fire out of applause. Who understands Arabic? Don't we have the funniest language in the world? Seriously. Like, in Arabic, it sounds normal, but once we translate it to English, not so normal. For example, if you're in an argument with someone, in Arabic, a, a normal term would say, Look, rah balit al bahar. Imagine saying that in English. Yeah, alright, yeah, but go tile the ocean. <laughs> the other day, my mum said to me, Rah jibl al jahsh al tawi. Mate, it's not a Greek wedding, alright man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my mum said, go get me the jaksha tawi. She went and told me to get the ironing board. No, she told me to get the donkey of ironing. <laughs> my favourite one in the world. Who, who can translate this one for me? Naiman, Naiman. Congratulations, you washed your hair. <laughs> Your health times too. But my dad, I'll finish you with this story. My dad, my dad is a is a prankster, you know. And I think growing up as a kid, he wanted to play jokes on me because I grew up in Adelaide. Now in Adelaide, there's not a lot of ethnic people, so I was the only wog in my class, right? So I wanted to do all the things that the Aussie kids done. So like, you know, I'd see the Aussie kids when they sneeze like... <laughs> now when I sneeze, there's a hurricane coming. When these guys, <laughs> I tried to do it, it nearly blew my head off. But anyway... My dad used to pack my lunch, right? Now all I wanted was what all the other Aussie kids wanted. Hundreds of thousands on white bread with the crust cut off. What did I get? Zatar and lead bread. <laughs> right? So I'm there sitting in the corner, the only kid that's shaving in year two. And you know, all the other kids are saying to me like, why are you eating ants? I try to defend myself. No, nah, it's Lebanese Vegemite. <laughs> and that just makes it even worse. Because here's all these kids swapping their lunch. I'm sitting in a corner with a Zatar sandwich. I've got oil dripping down my arm. And I'm chewing on a bloody Banadura. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. My name's Anthony Salome. I've got a Christmas special next Saturday at the Emerald Theatre. I'd love to see you there. Thank you very much.